I certainly can understand that the, the idea of the Asia NATO is, is still distant from the point of time we're talking. But I still wonder why are the NATO countries willing to share some of their civilians' efforts in monitoring China, right? I mean, if they don't, they, they don't really want to, you know, you know pose a, 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 as a threat to China, they probably will kind of, you know, take that back. So maybe uh, Professor Liu, we can yes. answer this. Uh, it is a, a very uh, interesting question because every time when we are talking about the expansion of NATO, it always comes with uh, the question like whether, whether NATO is going to expand, uh, when and how NATO is going to expand. But in this case, as we can see, NATO seems uh, to be walking on a very thin line here. Mm -hmm. He's trying to, uh, it's trying to improve its relationship, especially security and political relationship mm -hmm. with the allies in the Indo-Pacific. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, uh, uh, for this purpose, uh, uh, they tried very hard, NATO mm -hmm. members, they tried very, very hard mm -hmm. and trying to understand uh, why China is uh, conducting uh, so uh, many uh, different advanced mm -hmm. uh, research on uh, missile developments, mm -hmm. something like that. For example, ultrasound missile system. Uh, and also they are worried about possible or potential Chinese uh, further co cooperation on military terms with Russia. That would become a serious threat mm -hmm. uh, to uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the meantime, they also pay a close attention uh, to the rising tensions between China and the United States. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to uh, get involved uh, totally, but they also want to be prepared. Mm -hmm. I think that's why they are sharing information mm -hmm. on monitoring China. Mm -hmm. So Vincent, do you have anything to say about this? Well, I'll say it like this. I mean, <laughs> NATO is not an anti-Russia alliance. I mean, NATO is really focused on protecting the security of all of its member countries. Mm -hmm. And, you know, primarily that has traditionally focused on um, the, the, the Atlantic sphere. And mm -hmm. so it's focused on the protection of Europe. But I think as we see what's going on now vis-a-vis -vis China, as we do think the growing threat of authoritarianism worldwide, not just in Russia, mm -hmm. um, they have very much come to this idea and I think come to a conclusion mm -hmm. that they really must preemptively look to defend themselves against rising authoritarianism here in East mm -hmm. Asia mm -hmm. as well. So to put it bluntly, um, you can't just think about um, threats in isolation of geography like mm. in, in like you know it, it has to be come a more holistic perspective mm. in terms of what the threats are and where they're going to be and how mm. they're going to manifest and so to that sense i think nato has come to a sort of conclusion i wouldn't say consensus but at least a preliminary conclusion mm. that china must be monitored and that china could one day pose a very much the same threat it does uh, here in East Asia to NATO countries. Right, that's great. I mean, even if uh, with that minimal presence of NATO in Asia, same mind, uh, China has a strong response. So, mm. Professor Yen, so China has responded to NATO's attempts to exert its influence in East Asia by urging mm -hmm. the alliance to stop provoking mm -hmm. confrontation by drawing ideological lines. Mm -hmm. So, what's Beijing's objective here? Well, I'm, I'm a little shocked about the very strong reaction from China because uh, uh, if you look at the, you know, the, the, the communique, uh, there is no mentioning of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no criticism of China in Hong Kong mm -hmm. or in Tibet or in Xinjiang. Right. Those are the core issues China always mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is uh, talking about China being a systemic challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, and especially in terms of, uh, you know, in the future about the cyber, cyber warfare. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I don't think this is, uh, you know, suddenly China has this kind of being uh, very uh, sensitive to those issues, mm -hmm. but you, you are a different system. Mm -hmm. so, so when your opponents disagree with you on your system, on your ideology, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's pretty natural. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why, you know, Zhang Jun uh, from mm -hmm. the UN and then uh, Hua Chunying, uh, right. you know, the spokesperson, mm -hmm. uh, react so strongly. But they do, you know, point out mm -hmm. the, the the problem of uh, NATO is that uh, NATO did have a lot of uh, mm -hmm. involvement that is probably beyond its mission, mm -hmm. uh, like in Libya, mm -hmm. right before, mm -hmm. and then also, uh, well, if you look at the Afghanistan, mm -hmm. uh, which is a justified mm -hmm. war because right. uh, because of the attack, and so most of the NATO country went in, but then you also have the Iraqi war, which. Okay. Uh, a lot of NATO countries said, no, this is not U.S. being attacked, so they would not end there. But 
even in Afghanistan and Iraq, you mm -hmm. do have problem of treating the prisoner of war. Mm -hmm. You have uh, you know killing of the civilian. So there are something can be criticized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, China is saying hey, you are in Europe, uh, or you can say Euro right. at Atlantic. Mm -hmm. But why are you? interested in right. Asia. That's yeah. It's beyond, kind of distant from, yeah, that's yeah. beyond your regionalism, okay. right? Yeah. But the question, I think China don't, doesn't have to worry because I think NATO does care about security, mm -hmm. stability mm -hmm. in East Asia. Mm -hmm. But if these four countries, especially Japan and Korea, mm -hmm. being brought into this, being a member of uh, NATO, which also means if there is a conflict between China and Japan or Korea, mm -hmm that the whole NATO right, will, be yeah. involved. will be involved. I, yeah. I don't think NATO will want that. Right. Okay, but this is a, a, their reaction to, I think, to, to the nudging of the United States, mm -hmm. you know, just right. saying, well, we, we care about Asia.